We are up Eagles Rock, just outside Draperstown, which can mean only one thing. Uh, we are here at Glasgowbury 2012. My name is Peter Cinnamon, and we are here for coreblossom.com. Belly boots, deck chairs, tents. It is day one here at Glasgow 2012. It's the Friday night. Everyone is arriving from there at the bottom of the hill and they're driving up with the buses. Uh, there's lots of stuff going on. So as we prepare for all the music that will be happening tomorrow, we thought we'd check out and find out what the atmosphere is like here at the campsite. And we watch you try and hide, but you don't know that we'll try and find you again. Hiya, I'm Maeve. I'm from Newry. I'm Pete. I'm from Basildon. Uh, what brings you to Glasgow today? Well, it's my first time today, but I've heard that it's really good and I've heard it's a really big festival that's on the grow. So I decided I wanted to take the jump this week and uh, go, decided to go like, like this week. Um, Therapy are pretty much my favourite band and I've never been to Northern Ireland and I thought I was wanting to see Therapy on their own turf, so let's give it a go. I wish we had the time we could write it down, but I, I don't know where. How, how's the festival been for you guys? Brilliant. I had a yeah, really it's pretty good. It's pretty chilled at the minute. Many you know? friends. The views are good. Yeah, the views are Mountain unreal. tops. Mountain tops. And taking it. Pretty area, definitely. Sheep bow. <laughs> Saturday of Glasgow 2012, the day where it all kicks off musically. There are six stages absolutely packed to the brim with bands and everybody cannot wait. The day started in the campsite, in fact, the Samba band played at the very bottom of the hill and walked all the way up to start off proceedings. Everybody got involved and the atmosphere here is fantastic. We are with uh, Hometown Boys, well, with one of them. We are here with Mark from Pretty Child Backfire, who played on the main stage earlier on today. Uh, how did it go down, my friend? Really good. Um, we were uh, we were really surprised with how good the crowd was, because it was quite early, but everybody was there, jumping about, having a good time, clapping and singing, so couldn't it be better. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing this is not your first time you've been you know, at the festival, either as a punter or as a, you know, like, was it, is it nice sort of playing such a big festival, like 10 minutes down the road from your own house? It's um, I don't know. It's always like a big, a big date in our calendar, and we did because Glasgow Bay does their youth programs, and um, we had the opportunity to play whenever we were first starting out doing stuff about four years ago. So it's nice to come back with something that we worked on and we made work in Belfast and kind of made work over in the UK, and just be able to show it off. And and the fact that it is the people you know, as well as. By this stage, it, like, the whole country comes here, and it's such a nice mix of people. Everybody's on the same kind of vibe here to check out music and have a good time, and it's it's a pl it's a pleasure to be a part of that. Up the mountain, it's lovely. The weather's quite nice. It's lovely today, uh, and we are here with uh, Stephen, Kate, and Rachel from Fires. How are you guys going? Very well. We've had several beers already. It's about, it's one o'clock right yeah. now. <laughs> it's a <laughs> <mess. laughs> uh, How was travel down here for all of you? I got stuck behind a bunch of cows. There's, there's quite a lot of wildlife up here. There's a, a lot, we, a lot. we slept beside sheep ourselves. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's a good way to go. It's a good way to go. What what kind of stuff can we expect from it? Is it sort of a lot from the album, or what are you, what are you throwing in there for us today? Yeah, it's going to be pretty much all album stuff, all, all from we'll the new album. Film, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's, it's going to be favourites from the EP. And yeah. yeah, couple of ones. It's all going to be very upbeat, very stompy. We're hoping to get a lot of people dancing and a lot of people uh, buying beer. Is there, is there any bands you're sort of checking that you're looking to check out later on today? I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Space Dimension Controller actually. He's great on Box Cutter. Box as well. Cutter as well, yeah, that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be very cool. That's my electronic boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> coming into play. Uh, we just seen the midships, they were brilliant. Uh -huh. um, uh, Kowalski, I think later on is gonna be fantastic. 
I'm really yeah. looking forward to seeing them. afternoon here at Glasgow Brewery and we're now with Paddy and Lewis from Kowalski. Uh, they've just finished their set over at the G-Session stage this year at the tent. Uh, guys, what do you, what, this is the first time the tent's been here, what, what do you think about it? I thought it was absolutely amazing. I think it makes such a difference being in a, a big top like that. There's a lot better atmosphere. Um, we played on the main stage last year and it was good fun, but I think there's a, a lot better vibe being in a tent. You know, It's blown away, the sound's just... I don't know, just blowing about outside. There's something more cool and ambient about being indoors. I don't know if every band would say that it's better playing inside, but we prefer it, I'd say. It's strange going to a festival and stuff. No, I think it's got the, the best uh, mix of it. Uh, how do you feel the set went down today? Uh, we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves, yeah. Everyone seemed to enjoy it as well. I think there was more people than we thought there would be. And uh, yeah, it's great fun, like, great fun. You said you were on the main stage last year uh, and you're playing here again uh, this year. How do you see uh, Glasbury has developed over the years from an artist's point of view? Well, I think it's just getting more and more professional as the years go by and better organised. And um, I think this is our like, third or fourth year playing it and each year you come back and uh, it sort of feels like coming somewhere really familiar and you know exactly what the crack is and you're going to have a good time, you know. And It's just really nice, a nice local friendly festival, you know, everyone should come and check it out. Hype, it's a wonderful thing and we're with a band who has a lot of it. We're with Mojo Gogo -Go here at Glasgow Bay. Well, you're on stage when the sun was absolutely blistering uh, through the sky. You were on the main stage earlier on. How do you feel the set went today? Oh, it went great. I mean, I couldn't have put any more into it, I don't think. I mean, we got the first mosh pit of the day as well, so yeah, that's yeah. always a good thing. Yeah. Bang on, man. Yeah. High energy. It's a wee bit cooler now, but the top was off during the set. It was. Was, it was. was there any reason? Was it just like, let's do it? Yeah, I mean, it's not often you get to play outside and uh, the sun's out and I just came back from a holiday, so I had a bit of a tan, so I thought we'd better with it, you know, you know, make the best of it, like. Hey, I'm Rona. I'm Cara. From Glasgow. Glasgow? Yes. Yeah. Our mates are from Macrofell, <laughs> so we can visit them. No, yeah. they go to Glasgow every year, so they're like, you have to come. Seeing, who we have to see now? 1930s. Um, Runaway Go is the one for me. I went and saw them lately and uh, they're unreal. You're a man of the tambourine. I uh, love my life. Personal. It's better, yeah, because yeah. closer to home, it's, it's, it's rural. It's rural, I like that. It's all like on site bands, like getting out there. And Patty and Stella make sure everyone around gets involved. They want as many local people involved yeah. as possible. Like, oh, it's been good so far. Yeah. Even just thinking it's it's a nice size of festival, it's not too big. Well, we're used to going to like Tina Park and Rock Mess, yeah. and they're really, really big, and there's a lot of walking involved. So we like this one because everything's so close. 